We'll go with a pro. Uh, um, which would make him a powerhouse. We'll make him powerhouse. Wait a minute. Back real quick. Let's go with light heavyweight. Yes. Current pers persona. Just gonna give me copyright strike. Oh, there we go. That's the outfit. Hometown is not New York. United States ain't in here. Harrisburg. There's one problem. He's not staying this color. I don't got nothing against this color. Don't get me wrong. I treat everyone equal. down body type Oh, 
right. We gotta change this attire. No. Oh, back. Select a so. All right. Accept performance. Statistics, payback, okay. So, okay. We will get started. I think we have to go through NXT and everything else, so. And hopefully we'll get drafted. So. There you I done am. with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I have seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people huh? who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. 
The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, we clearly couldn't be that fucking stupid, can we? Come on. All right. Oh, excuse me. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. Started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I chose football. American, to be clear. I had no interest in all that running they do in soccer. Plus, I love the physicality of football. I can see how that relates to wrestling, but how'd you end up here? I love playing football, but I just kind of got burnt out going from college to the pros and wanted a new challenge. I started training for this a few months back and WWE took notice. That's good, but don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard, or harder, than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that, and I respect everything that WWE superstars do, inside and outside the ring. But there have been a lot of guys who crossed over successfully from football to wrestling, and I plan on being the next one to do it. Termination. Now let's see if you have what it takes to get the ball in the end zone. Okay. Talk to him. Hey, he's a dick too. Who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. That, that bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. I was busy playing football at the highest level in the world. So you're a football player, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into our sport think it's gonna be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever team you were cut from. You remind me of a lot of the guys I played against. All talk. Luckily for them, when the whistle blew, I couldn't punish them anymore. Last time I checked, there's no whistles here. Yeah, but there's a whole lot of wrestling rings, which you have very little experience in. You're on my field now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna be begging for a whistle. We'll see. <laughs> Pretty much called him the freak out. I heard you were starting today. Big fan.
Thanks. You're a football fan? No, not really. I just like your team's colors. Big purple fan. That'll be the color of my gear when I get to WWE. But anyway, I actually have an athletic background too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Even if Lola helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Ah, oh, sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign your football card for me before you leave today? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, and you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. <laughs> See you out there, Chase. I mean, the guy I make, made looks nothing like me, but he's going to come out as, like, a bad guy. Everyone boos him no matter what. So... to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out <laughs> of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> let's pummel him.
right. Damn it. <sighs> Just getting used to the control, so. Yeah, because that's what I Here we go, we're about to put him away.
After restarting once, I had to get the hang of the controls and everything, but... Before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not gonna give 100% in a train. Cool. Is that what you're gonna tell Triple H? Because he probably want an explanation for why the hottest free agent signing since AJ Styles just lost to a nobody. Triple H wasn't watching our match. The coaches just say that to scare you rookies. You think so? Cause I'm pretty sure after I beat you, I looked up at the camera and saw it zooming in on me. Probably Triple H wondering who this rookie was who just showed him they're wasting a crap ton of money on an overhyped bust. Face me when it really counts and we'll see what happens. Here's the thing. I think it already did and we saw what happened, but I'm happy to give Triple H a replay anytime. <laughs> wow. Like in here, you can either make enemies or you can make alliances. And right there, I'm making an enemy. <clears throat> so... Dog. Hey, big news. We got another member of DX coming to help out for a bit at the PC. Hornswoggle? Uh, no. One of the members of the best version of DX, X Pac. You know, I have to agree that the DX you were a part of was the best one. Damn straight it was. But you know who disagrees? Shawn Michaels. You guys took what they started and made it ten times better. That's what I always say. Anyway, what if when... That sounds awesome. And if we win, I get to be an honorary member of DX? Let's not go crazy. That's a storyline right there. Yeah. So... We will... See where this takes us.
back in here. What? I'm fucking stunned and can't do anything. Thank you, Road Dog.
Trying to get too cocky. Fucking stunner. Oh, you bitch. I'm not even answering you, dude.
Come on. I can't get anything going. This is fucked up. When I get to fuck up. Like, is that not reversible? I'll do it again to him. I don't care. Oh, is that Alexa? Bliss? We did it. Yeah, we did it. Tango una gran oportunidad para ti. That's Spanish, for I got a big opportunity for you. Estoy interesado. Not bad, right, Pero de Camino? Anyway, what's the oportunidad all about? WWE was contacted to send a PC student to El Mago's retirement show in Mexico. They actually requested Hector, but for some reason he doesn't want to do it. So if you're interested, we'll have a triple threat between you, Paragon, and Chase to decide who will go to face El Mago's son, El Mago Jr., at the event. Reservar mi vuelo, which means book my flight. I only looked up that one sentence, so I'll take your word for it. 
all the people that speak Spanish are gonna know what he said. Cause I fucking don't. Yeah. Hey, face El Mago Jr. The other guy, I fought him fucking three times or so now. I mean, th triple threat matches really aren't the easiest, but... Good luck against El Mago Jr. in Mexico. I hope you beat him. That's the plan. I've been meaning to ask. Why didn't you want to go? Yeah, um, just wasn't feeling it. It would have been a chance for you to compete in your home country. And you're probably a fan of El Mago, right? I was, but he wasn't a fan of me. That's all I can really say. Just go get the win over El Mago Jr. Okay.
Dude, I don't watch all them. Just kick me. El Mago Jr. We're in Mexico. Lucha Libre. Like no reversing? Guess not. Fucking three amigo. for a fucking ride. You stupid fuck.
beat El Mago Jr. First try. I was in a bit of a philosophical mood last night, and I started to wonder, if you never have a chance to use your finishing move, is it still a finisher? Or is it just a regular old move? What are you getting at? I guess I was thinking about how dominating my finisher is going to be in the WWE, but you guys are probably never even gonna get to use yours, which is kind of sad. Total waste of some perfectly good... I'd like the chance to prove you wrong. Really? Okay, well, how about we have a little fatal four-way finisher match? First one to hit theirs, wins. I'm not gonna waste my time proving some daydream of yours wrong. I know my finisher is legit, and soon everyone else will too. I turned them down, so. I was in a bit of a... Shocked you're not out with a head injury after thinking that hard. But please. I guess I was thinking about how dumb... I don't think you have to worry about that since... Really? Deal. I look forward to... Sh okay. Whatever. When I whip his ass, he'll find out. I do. I've already beat you like how many times now? That clearly. Come on, Get me up. Dude, I can't even do anything. But he had to have a fucking fatal do it. We're not doing this. I will restart until I get it. Like, this is bonkers. Me up. Let me the fuck up. Are you fucking joking? Come on, just get up. Like, this match is stupid, dude. Like, it really is. Because, you know, I'm not going to be able to do my finisher, so...
I will restart until I get it. Like, I don't care. Like, I'm starting to make me the fuck mad. Yep, he's gonna have his finisher. Oh my god, I can't do anything. And the fucked up thing is, this ain't even that hard of a match. Like, they just won't let me do anything. And now I'm stunned, so it's whatever. So I gotta wait. You might as well just do her. I'll be. I won't even be able to do mine. Come on, someone, please, let me do something. One of these guys is going to have their finisher before me. Whatever. Chase is going to do his first. And I'm not restarting, so if I lose, then I lose. I don't even have any of my shit up there. You bitch. God damn it. I hate fucking fatal four ways. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Won't be able to. Right there, I can't even do anything. I'm just done. Yep, might as well let these guys win this match. Can't do it. Two of them have their finishers.
gonna be my finisher. Did I win? Did I win? So I attempted to do it. I don't know if I won or not. Like, it just drives you fucking crazy when your opponent won't let you do anything. Hey, rookie. You have a passport or no? Uh, yeah. Why? Turns out I have to go back to Japan to finish out one more match of my contract there. WWE thinks a Japanese opponent might try to injure me for leaving, so unfortunately, I have to face one of you guys. But whatever. At least it will be an easy... Don't know how easy it will be for you, but I'll do it. When do we go? Not so fast. Obviously, this is a huge opportunity, so Hector and Chase won it in two. So you're gonna face them in a triple threat match for the right to lose to me in Japan. No. I don't want to do it. Fuck, I have to. Hey, rookie. Uh, turns out... Seems like a waste of time to travel all that way to beat you when I can just do it here. Only an idiot would turn down an opportunity like this. So I guess I'm not surprised. I think I have to accept it. Yep. Hey, Rookie. Uh, turns out. Don't know how. Let's do it. I didn't think I would have to do it, but I have to. Fuck. A triple threat. Which is fucking crazy. This sucks. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Beat his ass. Fucking referee. Yeah. 
Slam him. Yeah. That second triple threat match in the books. Man. Joel can't touch this. I was getting mad because I didn't have any cigarettes. But now I do. Bruh. Did I just do something I didn't want to? Hope not. Okay, let's get ready to fucking rumble this guy and injure his ass. I'm gonna skip that scene. Woo! Going to be like a fucking taco. Fuck tell me to get down. Oh shit. Probably should have took took his word for it, huh? A bitch. Come on. 
Thrashing this ring. Dude, I pushed Y to like reverse. Won't let me. Like, that's what I don't get. A bitch. I'm pretty sure finisher. I've already beat him like four fucking times. First time, then a mixed tag, and then time before this, and now, now. Or maybe it's been three times, I don't fucking remember. Like, what doesn't he understand? Like my guy. Striking is better. Oh, I'm ready. Deal. Here we go, boys. We're going to go to a big dog soon. Hey, we have some good news. You're not going to have to deal with us much longer. Well, maybe if everything works out. What do you mean? Triple H feels like he's seen enough from you and the rest of the class. So it's time for an official evaluation. 
Is this the PC showcase you mentioned back on my first day? Exactly. All of the GMs will be here to see you guys in action. If you impress any of them enough, you might receive a contract offer. Thanks for helping me get to this point. I won't let you down. You put in the hard work and earned this opportunity. Now it's time to deliver and reap the benefits. I'll be ready. We should also mention that each GM is going to be accompanied by a superstar from their brand to help evaluate you guys. And by evaluate, I mean you're going to face one of the visiting superstars. We already know how you do against the other guys here, so we wanted to give you a new challenge. That all sounds good to me. So who will I face? Well, the options are Oni Lorcan from NXT, Shinsuke Nakamura from SmackDown, or the toughest challenge out of the three, Drew McIntyre from Raw. Keep in mind, there's no wrong choice. Oh, Being a God. tough opponent would be more impressive to the GMs, and potentially open more doors. But if you lost, risk might not be worth it. So, now that you've had 10 seconds to consider this life-altering decision, what's it gonna be? I wanna really impress the GMs. Give me Drew McIntyre. All right, we'll make it happen. Good luck, kid. Wait! That may have we been almost the... forgot the best part. There's a little surprise waiting in your locker. Oh, you mean his custom gear we made for him. Well, now that the cat's out of the bag, remember your first day when you designed your wrestling attire? Well, we figured it might help your chances if the GMs could see how you'd really look in WWE. Unless you'd rather stick with your plain old boring training gear. Uh, no. I think I'm gonna go with my custom look. Thanks, guys. And what is that custom look? I know, but do you guys know? Hmm? Okay, but either way... Just a heads up, I wouldn't get all worked up about this PC showcase, since the GMs are really only coming to scout me. That's not what I've heard. Who are you going to face anyway? I'm taking on the mascot. I'll dominate him. And show the GMs what they've been missing out on. Wait, so you're not even facing one of the visiting superstars? <laughs> Sounds like someone is scared to lose in front of the GMs. It's called being smart. I don't know how smart that is, but whatever. I am so jacked for this PC showcase. You beating Paragon and getting signed to Raw wasn't the crazy part. Oh, no way, man. I can do this. I step up my game when the pressure's on. And besides, all I need is one. Well, I admire your confidence. And I hope it works out that way. Maybe we'll end up on the same show. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Could even ride together, live together. I know. We could do a lot of things together. All right, well, good luck. In yeah, I get it, Chase. Good luck with all that. If he loses and I win, I think I'm on Raw then. Which is crazy. I hope I don't get copyright striked. <laughs> that would suck. Fucking bitch ass up.
Go, Drew. No! <laughs> yeah, punk ass bitch. kicked out of that. Come on, dude. I fucking reverse. Don't start, bro. Don't even. What? One, two. Uh uh. Not happening. Because if I don't impress them, then I fucking don't go anywhere. Yeah. 
beat his chest in like a goddamn drum. I ain't going out there. I'm waiting until he gets in here. Come on. My character's so fucking stupid. Fuck out of my ring. Okay, Drew, get your ass up. It's go time. No! fucking blister his ass. I think I'm playing. Get up, get up, come on. You bud. Okay, he cannot reverse me. I don't need him reversing. Yes! I only had to restart once. Uh, hopefully I'm getting signed to Raw because that'd be badass. My guy. No. The fact that you had the courage to not only face an opponent like Drew McIntyre, but then beat him, really proved what kind of competitor you are. That's why I'd like to offer you a SmackDown contract. There have been so many great moments and matches on SmackDown over the years, and I look forward to continuing its legacy. All right. Easiest contract negotiation ever. Well, we do need to talk money still. Don't worry, you'll be taken care of. 
Congratulations. You are Yes. We made it to SmackDown. We went with the blue team. Blue brand, I mean. You're looking at the blue brand's newest superstar. Good for you. I'm gonna do the same thing, but without the lame nickname. Wait, are you saying you got signed to SmackDown too? Yeah, what's the matter? Scared you'd be facing me now? No, but I guess every brand needs curtain jerkers. We're gonna have a lot of fun, aren't we? Huh? <laughs> he's mad because he's... He has me on SmackDown with him. That's what he has to say. Hey, I heard you're going to SmackDown. Thanks. I saw you talking to Regal. He make you an offer? Yeah, and I'm going to take it. I think it's a great fit for my style, and I'll be able to compete for the Cruiserweight Championship. But maybe we'll cross paths again sometime in the future. Never say never around here. That's right. That's right. Heard you got signed. Congrats. Thanks. What's the matter with you? What's the matter? You and Hector and Paragon all got signed, but no one wanted me, and now I'm stuck here while you guys are all moving on to bigger and better things. Comparing yourself to us isn't going to help. Your time will come. Trust me. You just need to take a hard look in the mirror and see what you can change to capitalize on the next opportunity that comes along. That's good advice. But what if it wasn't anything that I did wrong? What if someone in WWE doesn't want me to succeed? What if I'm being held down? Bro, I think you've been spending too much time on social media. There are no conspiracy theories in play here. All right, but that is exactly what you would say if there was one. Chase, keep your head up and continue to work hard. <laughs> I gotta go clean up my locker. That's not code, is it? Like you're not trying to tell me there's a conspiracy theory against me? That I'm being locked down? Wink twice if I'm- Chase. <laughs> Chase. Stop it! Oh, Michaels. Congrats on getting signed to SmackDown. I think you're gonna do big things there. Thanks for saying that, especially since we haven't always seen eye to eye. It's hard for me to see eye to eye with anyone these days. That's a joke. But nonetheless, this is always a proud day for us. But just remember, don't slip up and embarrass me or the other coaches, okay? So basically, don't do anything you would have done when you were starting out in WWE? Exactly. Good luck, kid. I'll be watching. Yep, so we made it into the big leagues. And I'll beat that guy I beat three or four times. I'll beat him a lot more. I don't care. Look who it is, SmackDown's newest superstar. SmackDown is lucky to have this addition to its roster. We'll see how he fares here, but I think he has the chance to do big things.
Well, shall we find out? I think we should. Excuse me. I am a huge fan of Japanese wrestling. What did I just select? Skip the fucking scene. You are looking at one of the most vicious strikers this industry has ever known. He kicks like lightning. Yeah, Shinsuke Nakamura has a. Okay. No falls tonight, Corey. Just one superstar trying to impose their will, another forcing them to submit. That's right, Cole. And in a submission match, you have to exploit any weakness your opponent has. Sore ankle, break that thing. Sore ribs, throw your opponent against the barricade. All is fair in love and war. That's a great strategy, Corey. But what if your opponent doesn't have a weakness you can exploit? Well, if they do weakness, you give them one. It's pretty simple. You know, for certain, somebody's going to have to consent. For Nakamura. Hold up, I need to see what the match rules are. Where's DQ at? Oh! Disqualification is off. With the reversal. Oh, look at the impact here. Just boom, boom. Pummeling the chest of their opponent. This is brutal. My goodness. Heads out, and he has all the he wants. Ooh, man, what a hit. Looking a little off balance. Knock him away for that one. Here's the snapmare. Knee drop. Had a fracture in orbital. Aggressive with shoulder. He'll slide back in the ring now. So effective. Bruising up to the stomach. Really just laying it in. Skate up Kamara with a nice reversal. Reversal on top of reversal. He's not taking advantage. Precision strike. Paying it right back with a reversal. He's a projectile now. He 
staring us down, getting into that zone. The outside. This could get wild. This right for Sharp punch. But he makes it ringside. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Dominator. Setting up. Might just have what it takes to keep Nakamura down. I don't know if I want to go on this trip, guys, but you might have to because it's the oh. and that will do it. Not getting up from that one. Here is your winner, Sub Zero. <laughs> Putting the locker room on notice with a win like that. Well, as cutting as Nakamura's knee strikes can be, they just weren't sharp enough tonight. That's pretty surprising. Everyone is on notice. That's the first win on the blue brand. Baby. This is going to be copyrighted. I'll fix it.
You know what one of my favorite sounds in the world is? Hearing the crack of a kendo stick over someone's back. I heard it at the first event I went to. Well, we'll go and take on Apollo Crews and crack a kendo stick over his back. We're going to stay under as long as we can. Get the champion attention. The WWE Universe just exploded! The following contest... Stand up, Saxton. We are in the presence of true Nigerian royalty. Or obnoxious royalty. And his opponent from Bidway State, Nigeria, weighing in. Okay, Paulo Cruz. There's no telling what a competitor is capable of when they're battling under extreme rules. Oh, make no mistake about it. This match is high stakes, high risk, and high reward. A mistake here can take years off your career. Okay, That's Apollo Crews, stop. Predict. What kind of danger awaits? Because everything and anything is legal here, gentlemen. He's going for it all. Ooh. No. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Fuck. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Uh-oh, this is... He goes for the cover. Likely just trying to out some energy with that cover. Shoulder tackle. Close line. Dominating shoulder tackle. What's he open to find down there? And now with the kendo stick in hand, ready to do some real damage. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. That gets reversed on Apollo. Caught with a clothesline. Oh boy, to the announce table now. Oh uh, yeah, gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. And continuing to punish their opponent with a German. Vicious right for big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Close line. What? He's getting a little battered now. Yeah, but he expected extreme pain in an extreme rules match. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any road ninja attacks. Cruz escapes the attack. Sliding back into the action. And he goes into the ring. To the gun. Ooh, brutal form. Oh, ooh, man. He was elusive there. Being carried around with ease. Oh, ran face first. Producing a trampling. Dodged right off the cue. Pick up the fucking kendo stick.
And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. Oh boy, not the chair. Kick to the gut. in mind right now. Oh well. Oh my God. Superhuman power. And now Apollo is being measured. He's gonna get his ass wet. Oh the reversal by no? Apollo's Cruz. Series of reversals. Fuck you, Apollo. Here is your winner, Sub Zero. He definitely got the job done tonight. Well, Apollo didn't have it going on here tonight. What everyone else fails to do is beat him up. Um, we're going somewhere else. Fuck that. Let's go to the GM's room. Hey. Did you hear about Jimmy Uso's injury? Yeah, I did. Feel bad for the guy. Now his wife Naomi needs a new partner in the Mixed Match Challenge Tournament. As a reminder, the winners get to be co-GMs of SmackDown for one night. So are you interested in taking his place? GM for the I'm night? <laughs> yeah, I'm in. All right, I'll make it official. And you should probably go talk to your new partner when you get a chance. I mean, I didn't want to. What's up, new partner? <laughs> so you heard, huh? Yep. I was pretty bummed when Jimmy went down, but we can still make the best out of a bad situation. Where are we at in the standings? I haven't been following the Mixed Match Challenge too closely. Seriously? Come on, man. There's okay, no time to okay. play catch-up. I got the it. The playoffs are about to start, and we gotta face You better not screw this up for me. I have big plans for when I'm GM for the night. I want to be GM too, so don't worry, I'll hold up my end of the deal. Fucking Uso. Yo, Uso.
Now this is a team I never expected. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 340 pounds, Sub-Zero and Naomi. You always have to be careful with a pairing like this. You don't really know what level of sportsmanship to expect in the match. Yeah, I've had a bad feeling that he'll be a negative influence on her. I hope I'm wrong. At least these two don't have separate matches. Oh, great, Maurice. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 337 pounds, The Miz and Maurice. Oh, boy, I thought these two were already insufferable. Now we got to see them together on my screen. Prepare to see a lot more of them, Saxton, because these two are the future of mixed tag wrestling. And so I know each other very well. It's going to be an uphill battle to defeat Vance. Place target. Miz counters with an attack. Face first into the snapmare driver. A oh, foot just stomping down. He tags out, so now the women are going to go one on one. This is her time to shine, and don't you forget. She got launched. Oh, look at that. Embracing her adoring public. She needs to stop saying she's going to bring it and actually deliver on the promise. Three. Close line! Well, that'll leave a mark. Two. Right to the back of the neck. Yeah. The 
damage he's taken is starting to pile up. What a German suplex! Big splash! And he's able to counter! Kick to the gut and boom, brutal form! Oh, and disabling the leg with that. Into the turnbuckle. Up on the turnbuckle now. Perched in a dangerous position up top. It's about to get worse from here. Superplex from the top. Of the Miz. Miz needs to rely on his resourcefulness. The stomp in every single part of his body. Stunning display of power. Tough spot for the Miz. Reality setting in. What are they going to do here? Oh, look at the power. Look at the strength. Team chemistry in full effect with these two superstars. Winning a mixed tag match has nothing but good feelings. There is definitely a feeling of excitement in the air. Well, we beat their asses. <clears throat> Oil meets water. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. At a combined weight of 340 pounds, Sub-Zero and Naomi. They call it mixed tag for a reason. Very different personalities in the ring. Yeah, it is never too late to learn something new, and I hope she realizes that. He's ready to earn his stripes. It's the international sensation, Paragon J. Pierce. I already beat his ass several times. From Arlington, Virginia, weighing in at 235 pounds, Paragon J. Pierce. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. Here we go. Let's see if Paragon can back up his big talk. It's the up and coming Josie Jane. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. 
Josie Jane. Josie Jane brings more than just passion to the ring. She brings years of experience. There's no doubt Josie has earned every opportunity. The heart. Okay, I'm tired of watching that. As this semifinal match gets underway, I'm still somewhat surprised to see Naomi and her replacement partner have advanced this far. They've won one match, Cole. I think their luck ends tonight against Josie Jane and Paragon Jay Pierce. Well, I know Jimmy Uso is home pulling for the underdogs, and hey, so am I. A Cinderella run like this is what makes tournaments so great. Look the fucking referee. Typical guy hiding behind his woman. <laughs> Missed again. Quick thinking from Naomi. She saw that one coming. Well, what a leg sweep. Take it out the knee. Oh, man. That'll destroy your ligaments. She's pushed into the corner. Well measured. Oh, impressive counter. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. That backfire out. Trying to chop her down with a low kick. Can they go on the attack? Ducking out of trouble. Yeah. And now the tag resets the oh, action as the men get set God. to do battle. Close line. So effective. Big ball. What a shot. Kick to the gun. Ooh, brutal ball. As it hooked in. Goodness, inverted suplex. Uh. Oof, that's going to leave a mark. Fucking hate when you can't reverse. Fuck you doing? Is it enough here? No, it's not enough. Stops the count before two. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Uh oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara on bar. Oh, what after the arm? Fujiwara on bar. Incredible pressure. Hey. Come He's on. Taking some good Get the hits. fuck up. Asshole. He tags out, which means it's now okay. time for the women to compete. You know what? Gonna fucking Hurricane finish this shit one time. Unbelievable bro. athleticism. Oh, ouch. Nasty right hand. And to the floor. And now a series of stomps and kicks. Lighten up the chest and now... To the knee. I fucking hate this match. These matches. Quick thinking from Naomi. Devastating kick. Combo. Got the leg and elbow drop. Down with a leg drop. She steers clear of that one. Fucking hood. Who's in trouble? Huh? Oh, look at head Can you still feel the glow when the lights are out? And Josie is being aligned into position. Uh oh, feel the glow! There it is, sister! And 
and she lets her out of the submission. I don't know if it's Mercy or if it's someone who's not done playing with their prey. Nasty right hand. Answers with an enziguri. Crashing to the floor. And this has got to be it. Tonight. Here are your winners, Sub-Zero and Naomi. And Naomi helps lead the team to victory. I wouldn't have expected these two to perform well together, but they looked impressive in victory. Yeah, we're not just more than tag partners, bitch. Now this is an odd couple. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. It's an already beat to Shinsuke Nakamura. The final match of the mixed match challenge has arrived where Naomi and her partner face a formidable challenge against Asuka and Shinsuke Nakamura. They've been underdogs the entire playoffs and managed to advance this far. I wouldn't count them out here tonight either. I will. No disrespect to the teams they beat to get to the finals, but Asuka and Nakamura are on a whole different level. When this is over, the Empress of Tomorrow and the King of Strong Style will be walking away as co-general managers of SmackDown. Another just punishing. Close this connects. Oh, stomping away. Oh, get up. Stay down. Just caught flush. Yeah. Dropping the elbow. Nakamura seems to have lost a step now. Looking to do it all himself. Just remember to tag your partner in so you can catch your breath and keep up the performance down the stretch. Reversal from Nakamura. Ooh, stinging kick. Steer clear of that. The top rope, what a hot shot. Come on, get up. He slides back into the ring. These women have been chomping at the bit, and now they're about to throw down. German suplex. And set him up. Oh, yeah. That's going to hurt. She keep her down. She kicks out at one. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Ooh, what a forearm club. Oh, with authority. Close line. With their what the head. fuck? Let me do something. Fuck. Holding the shoulder hostage now. Asuka is showing her dominance here. Naomi needs to be resourceful in this oh. situation. 
I hit Y and it does it. Goes, Asuka design. Naomi finds her target with that one. Oh, not a good place to be. Series of kicks in the corner. Nasty kick. Plenty of hits coming her way now. And the hip attack finds them all. Jesus Christ, let me go tag. This could be it, cover. Oh, somehow. I think this match still has a ways to go. Quick thinking from Naomi. Oh, look ahead, sis. Can you still feel the glow when the lights are on? She tags out, so now it's the men one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, no, 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 You know what? This is fucking ridiculous. Oh, look at the knees. Endless I'm getting knee fucking pissed. The and there's the save. You're really fucking mad. Locked down the shoulder. Okay. Scouting you know what, you motherfuckers. Nakamura. Close line. He's got him scouted. Quick exchange of counters there. Ooh, pinpointing the trick here. He's looking a little weary now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Setting up. Might just have what it takes to keep Nakamura down. Kick to the midsection. Oh, They were a patchwork team after Jimmy Uso was injured, but gelled enough to cruise through the playoffs and take tonight's final. Let's not forget what's really important here. The winners of the Mixed Match Challenge get to be GMs of SmackDown for one night. That's quite the reward, assuming it's put to good use. I have no doubt they'll do just that. Congrats again to the winning pair.
Well... Seriously? Relax. I'm kidding. We yeah, do... we may have... So is G... Funny. No. So this is it then, huh? Nah, I'll be... The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the WWE Universal Championship. Here he comes. Introducing the challenger from Hat, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 215 pounds, Sub Zero. Introducing. Here we go with this Universal Championship match as the champion Roman Reigns defends against down GM for the night. Making this match was a given for the victor of the Mixed Match Challenge, but winning it will be a whole different situation. Yeah, I'm sure the head of the table wasn't too thrilled that his championship under these circumstances, a frustration he is likely to take on the challenger. Defiant counter to Reigns.
I sent flying. Counters that. Oh, man, I will take your fucking belt. He just barely. He takes control. Roman, I was going to punches. Stopping death. Reigns comes up short on that attack. Big Incredible. Here's a pin for the title. Great official. As the ref noticed, Bitch. he was on the ropes. He'll beat the fuck down. Hell, what a slam! I ain't Dogs unleashed. Overruns for Roman now. Fly. The big hat that scout. Snapmare takeover. Oh boy. Clearly. Shoulder tackle. Oh, Lining up. Oh, oh Roman, get up. This up. Section. Point. Disorienting. Big time powerbomb. How do I change hands? Challenger looks to control of Roman Reigns in this universe championship match. Yeah. That she made himself. Real. Wait a second. Jimmy Uso. He's been with an injury. I not here to congratulate his wife's replacement in a mixed match challenge. If things had gone differently, this could have been Uso's championity tonight. Look out. Reigns. No. It's all over. And Jimmy Reigns Uso. has managed to hold on to his universal championship. Yeah. Major assist from his cousin. Smackdowns tonight had everything lined up perfectly. But it all changed in an instant due to the return Jimmy Uso. No matter what temporary authority he has, it was enough to survive a distraction and a Superman punch. I'm sure both of these men are going to have a lot to do with each other and Naomi. I almost had him. I should have just fucking pinned him. Well, this is where I'm going to stop this one. I'll do another one, and this one's going to go up right away. All right, peace.